Yo, what's up, guys? This is JJ, and I'm bringing you guys another Mad Mobile video. Thank you and welcome. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this, as I will be bringing you guys the number one coin making method and what I use to make coins. So right now I'm sitting at about 4.4 million coins. That is because I did have a 4 million, 4 million coin deal done a couple days ago and an 850k coin deal done a couple days ago as well. So I'm going to show you guys all the filters that I like to use and how I can make the most money uh, in the least, least amount of time. So let's hop right into the first filter here. We do got our gold trophies here and it's golden elite trophy filter as you guys see right here for 2500 coins. I do like this filter because cards are, co or cards are dropping constantly on this filter. And actually, my brother has a little mini account, he plays on his iPad, and I tell him to use this filter and he gets snipes all the time. It's a very effective way to make coins, as Elite Trophies sell for about 15,000 coins and Gold Trophies go for about 5,000. And in this next filter, this is just strictly Elite Trophies, and as I said, Elite Trophies go for 15,000. Look for Elite Trophies for 8,000 coins, snipe them for underneath that or for 8,000 and you'll sell them for a good amount. As you guys see right here, I'll type in the 15,000 and you guys will see that these are going for, these are selling instantly right at 15,000 coins. So if you were sniping them for 8,000 or under, you're making back that 8,000 if not more depending on how much you sniped them for. So the next filter we are going to go to is Ultimate Legend Collectibles. We do got these and these cards used to go for 40,000 coins and now they're up to 350k. So if you can get one of these, just sit on the filter for a little bit sit on this filter and get them for 300k or lower you're gonna make guaranteed profit as you see they're selling for 350k and in fact yesterday i bought them for 315k a piece when i i looked at that i was like oh my gosh like these are going for 40k a month ago or so when the ultimate legend packs out and now they're going for like 10 times that amount but if you can get these for really cheap this is a solid way to make money actually because you'll be making a lot of profit back it just takes a little bit of time but right in here we got some gold players for 101 coins and a lot of them do drop surprisingly and you can choose whether or not you want to put elite trophies in or, or elite players in or not i would kind of stay away from that as gold players do drop more and you have a better chance of getting these and you will make profit from that as well and as you see here almost all gold players sell for 2500 coins they will bound they'll be bound to sell so you're gonna make that easy little profit right there very simple very effective way of sniping now, the next one we got here is um, 92 overall players, and I like to go with every team except for the Titans, the Bengals, the Browns, and the Giants, I believe. And I like to go with every position except for the tight end position and go for 50,000 coins. Actually, we do we do include the Giants in here. I'm not sure who the other team is that we do not, in do not include, but not to worry because these do go for... Cards are dropping constantly on this, and if you do get them... It's going to be a nice profit. As you see here, these are all my snipes that I've gotten from that same from the same filter. The Eddie Lacy one was a little bit lower. So if you want to filter out the Packers team, it's not a big deal. But you buy the see this one sold for 50,000 coins. Uh, someone sniped it and he'll sell for 65,000. So not bad right there. So once again, a very effective way. And now onto the next one. These are getting into the year collectibles. I like to put for Muno's year for 10,000 coins. They do drop constantly as well as Taylor year collectibles do drop very often. If you guys do catch me on the year on the year um filters, make sure you give me a shout out. Tell me that you did see me snipe something, because I just think that's pretty cool that you guys would see my name pop up. But you can go with um, Deacon Jones or Walter Jones as well. Those are very very solid card to get as they do sell for quite a bit of coins. The Deacon Jones before the legendary packs came out yesterday was going for like ninety thousand to one hundred and twenty five thousand. So that was a very nice. Those are very nice cards to snipe, as well as the Woodson Year Collectibles or Woodson Week or Woodson. I like to snipe for the Woodson Year Collectibles because he does go for about ninety thousand coins when the legendary packs went out. So very solid one there, as well as Road Signs. Road Signs are a very not a very commonly used filter actually, and I'm actually gonna be sitting on this uh, filter tonight trying to get some cards, and I'm gonna try and get a little live live snipe for you, here here for you guys. Sorry for stuttering. I'm gonna get a little live snipe for you for you guys here i hope so anyways but look up the road sign elite road signs for fifty thousand coins very solid because they do sell for about eighty thousand coins so if you are getting anything fifty thousand and under you're gonna be making that twenty twenty five thousand if not more profit every single time you get a snipe so this is just a little filter i like to sit on and i actually have not been using this filter recently because i just kind of forgot about it but if you do get the snipes if you do get the cards that you were looking for you can also put them into those um signature pack sets and you can pull
pull those cards, the 94 or 93 above cards. So very nice there. You can make some profit if you get an end read or something like that. But if you guys check out here, they are selling for about 80,000 coins a piece. I need to go collect this, but they're going for about 80,000 coins a piece, every single one of them. So those are very good coin making methods as well right here. And the next one I like to look at are the Easter players. And I have sniped a few of these. It's the TJ Yeldon. And he goes for about, TJ Yeldon and the Robert Mathis go for about 200k a piece. And I like these because they do drop consistently, pretty consistently. And if you get them, if you, I like to put put the filter for about 200,000 coins and they do sell for 250k. So if you get anything from 200,000 coins or under, you're going to be making that 50 to 45,000, if not way more, if you get it for really cheap. In fact, I did have somebody in my league snipe one without a bot or nothing like that. Finger sniped for 20k and he sold for 225k or something like that. And right here, you do get the Easter sets. The exchange packs are not bad, actually. I've seen some people get some pretty nice cards out of them. But we don't get anything there. Just a couple small coin collectibles and bronze trophies. But it only takes two eggs you can get from the live event. So very nice right there. There's Easter Legend pack. If you do get the cards for really cheap... I don't know if I would recommend this because the TJ Yeldon and Robert Mathis alone go for 200k a piece. So I don't know if that's the smartest idea, but if you're looking for that legend pack, that'd be pretty nice. Guys, also check out my league. It's called JJ underscore Mad Mobile. Very nice league. We, do, we are full at the moment, but I will be accepting players soon. This is JJ signing out. Thank you for watching. Take it easy, everybody.